Hi, I'm Sandata, yet Villarreal Jr. Welcome to Video Assisted Instruction, Data File Structure and Algorithm Series. It is our lecture number four. Let's proceed on our topic for today. So we have three topics, data types, fundamental data types, and data types modifiers. Now let's proceed with the data types. Now data types is a data that a variable can hold in a programming language. All programming language has a set of built-in data types. Examples are char, that is stands for character, so it is the prefix of character, so we use this char and we type this in our environment in programming. And it identifies the data type representing character values. Another is int. It is a prefix of integer. It identifies data type representing integer values. In C++, data types are declaration for variables. This determines the type and size of data associated with variables. For example, int for integer, which is a prefix, and the space age is a variable was been mentioned, associated with equal sign with the size or 13 as the value. Now here, age is a variable of type int, meaning the variable can only store integers of either 2 or 4 bytes in terms of memory capacity, external and internal. Now we are finished with the data types. Now let's move on to fundamentals data types. Now C++ fundamental data types has its figure here. 11 shows the fundamental data types, their meaning and their size in terms of bytes right here. So we have uh, the data types are integer or int. So int stands for integer. That is the meaning of it. Float is the floating point. Double, the meaning of it is double floating point. Char or character identifies as meaning. W char underscore T is a wide character, such as symbols. And bool, which has a meaning of boolean. Void, which is considered to be empty. Now, if you notice, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 fundamental data types that we can use in the data file structure. Now, in terms of size, we have here from integer is 2 or 4, floating point 4, double floating point 8, character 1, white character 2, boolean 1, and void, which is 0. Now, you will notice that if you use double floating point, it has a larger size in terms of uh, the capacity in memory, internal or external, or even in hard drive. Now, to more specifically identify those uh, fundamental data types, so let's discuss it in a more deeply manner. So we have int. The int keyword is used to indicate integers. Its size is usually 4 bytes, meaning it can store values from negative 21474836488, which is considered to be 2,147,483,648, up to 2,147,483,648. 83,647. For example, integer salary is equals to 85,000. This is classified as integer. Next, we have float and double. Float and double are used to store floating point numbers, decimals, and exponentials. So that's why if you're going to compute for exponentiation, you need to use uh, float and double. The size of float is 4 bytes and the size of double is 8 bytes. Hence, double has 2 times the precision of float. 
It meant to say, it's better to use double than rather using float. But if you have a lesser capacity in terms of memory and hard drive, it's better to use float. For example, float area. So we have float as the data type. Area is a variable equals to 64.74. And another example, which is double as a data type and a variable name of volume is equals to 134.64534. As mentioned above, these two data types are also used for exponentials. For example, double data type distance is equals to 45E12. 45E12 is equal to 45 times 10 raised to 12. So, E stands for exponent in programming. That's why if you notice, there, there are letter E's in the, in the variable declaration as an assignment. So, it is considered to be exponent. Next, we have char or character. Keyword char is used for character. Its size is 1 byte. Characters in C++ are enclosed inside single quotes. So don't forget the single quotes. It is not double quotes, single quote. For example, character as data type, test as memory variable, or the variable itself is equals to single quote, H, single quote, and semicolon. It interprets that the test is equals to H. Note in C++, an integer value is stored in a character variable rather than the character itself. To learn more, visit C++ characters. It meant to say, if you have integer, it can be classified also as character because if you didn't use that in mathematical computation, then it, it is considered to be character. Next, wchar underscore t, which is a wide character wchar underscore t is similar to the character data type except its size is two bytes instead of one. It is used to represent characters that requires more memory to represent them than a single character. For example, wchar underscore t is a data type space test is a variable name is equals to or assigned to l single code and we have here double slash single code is storing Hebrew character. Okay, so we have now notice the letter L before the quotation mark. Note that there are also two other fixed size character type character 16 underscore T and character 32 underscore T introduced in C. So we're finished now with the fundamentals data types. Now let's proceed to our last topic data types modifier. C type modifiers, we can further modify some of the fundamental data types by using type modifiers. There are four types modifiers in C++. They are sign, unsign, short, and long. We can modify the following data types with the above modifier, integer, double, and character. It means to say these three data type, we can use that in a modified data type. C++ modified data type list. So we have the data type, the size in bytes, then the meaning. Sign, space, int, having a size of 4, used for integers equivalent to int. So they are the same, but it is considered to be sign. Unsigned int, 4 in size, meaning can only store positive integers. So we have negative integer, a sign. Look at this. Unsigned integer is positive negative is sign. Next short is 2 in size used for small integers ranges from 32,768 negative to 32,767 positive. Or rather it will be interpreted as 32,768 sign integer and 32,767 as unsigned integer but because they have the lower value or small numbers in terms of integer then we can identify it as short next we have long at least four used for large 
integers equivalent to a long int and unsigned long for in terms of size in bytes used for large positive integers or zero equivalent to unsigned long int now continuation of c++ modified data type list so we have long and long which is considered to be size in 8 in terms of byte used for very large integers equivalent to long long integer something like as million billion trillion quadrillion pentakillion quintillion so it's up to you unsigned long long 8 used for very large positive integers or zero equivalent to unsigned long long integer next we have long double which is considered to be 12 used for large floating point numbers then we have sign character 1 used for character guaranteed range 127 to 127 negative 127 to positive 127 characters it means to say you can put up up to 127 characters next we have unsigned characters 1 in terms of size in byte used for characters range 0 to 255 which is we use already uh, in terms of databases okay so this is the changes from programming to databases the data types please modify example of modified data types we have long v as in variable is equals to or assigned to 4523232 long int c is equals to 2345342 long is a modified data type int is a data type c is a variable equal sign is assignment operator long double d is equals to 233434.56343 remember that float and double considered to be has its decimal point number short d is equals to 3434233 error out of range why because short is only 32,700 and so on so this is considered to be an error but it has an output in programming so be careful unsigned integer a is equals to negative 5 error can only store positive numbers or zero because unsigned integer is positive sign integer is negative so that's the 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 best thing of how to manipulate or modify your data type derived data types so these are data types that are derived from fundamental data types are derived data types for example arrays pointers function types structure etc so those are derived data types and that is the second topic we're going to discuss uh, after this uh, types abstract data types and other types of data so validation board data types fundamental data types and data types modifiers we, we finish all of this that's all for today thank you for watching and good luck Congratulations, you successfully finished our lecture number four.